Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Today I'm going to be making some luscious bats. Um, so I've started to run out of fibre. I've got a lot of white and only a little bit of leftover in colour and the weather is changing so i can't do much dyeing at the moment so i've found some merino for my base i'm going to i've hand carded some uh, hand combed some um 13 micron 15 micron merino um staples so i'm going to pop them in i want some chocolate um little chocolate streaks um i have some purple and pink cashmere bamboo and rose fiber thought that would look nice in it um some some mulberry silk white mulberry silk some green viscose and some green angelina in two different colors i've been doing a lot of green lately but i wanted to do one with pink and green this is my leftovers from other spins um, that I've just collected into a bag and I'm going to be adding that to it for some colour pop. Got a mix of cashmere, cashmere no silk and and merino some of the hypoallergenic fiber and some some locks so should be interesting and very pretty and then I'll be spinning it up so what I want to do is move this stuff aside over here so it's the other road I am going to be adding some merino first you want to separate it evenly before you put it on This stops it from getting like catching in the in here and getting stuck in here. I just found a little bit of grass. Sorry if it gets bumpy. Oh, 
I am starting to get, I'm, I'm already there, but I am so bored of white. But I don't throw anything out for this reason, for when I do get low on fibre and I can create new fibre with leftovers. some of this you want to go slow with it with the with the uh, staples because they're very fine they can get caught you don't want them to get naps and stuff They will eventually give way and go on easier. I don't want to force it and get lumps. Now what I'm doing first is prepping the actual base fiber. So I want to have it the chocolate and cream throughout. Then I want to add the color on top 
So when I do spin it up, I'm going to have majority of that beautiful browns and whites with some color pop. It's not going to take away from what I'm putting in the base. I only prepped a little bit of this because I only need a little bit and I don't like using too much of the good stuff all in one go. Alright, now I am going to add some mulberry syrup. Normally I go from the top with really slippery stuff to stop it from catching on the bottom drum, but I want it to be even mix throughout like a cover of it across there instead of bubbles a lot of it's going to go on the front but then it'll fall back to the to the back I've also been doing a lot of colours for men lately and um, unisex ones. I don't know. I think our men seem to miss out a lot when it comes to fibre and there is a lot of men that actually do fibre arts. So... And then you've got the women that buy it and maybe they want something for their husbands or their sons or their daughter that likes the colour. So I'm mixing it up a bit at the moment, trying to make sure I've got colours for everyone. But I do, I, I like all colours. 
all different types of colours. Um, they all have their place. And you know, I really love the bright colours too, but I don't make stuff with it. Sometimes I will, but majority of the time when I do make something for myself, it's more um, earthy colours like golds and reds and, and um, and just earthy colours. So I just need to remember to keep um, supplying for everyone, not just myself. I've also noticed that a lot of people, when they do make something, tend to go for solid colours and neutral tones not super bright stuff unless they're going for a gradient or something for a little girl or a teenager or sometimes for themselves but majority of the time people will go for something that will go with everything and I like to sort of steer away from black on its own, even though a lot of people love to go black. Um, I think, you know, I, I wear a lot of black. It's just funny. I'll wear black, but I love colour. So, would I wear it? Um... If it's in a nice neck piece, yes. If it is a nice scar, then yes. Certain places I will put colour on my body. But majority of my uh, wares are black. Black, white or red. Um, If I could knit, knit with my own stuff, then yeah, I'd be making stuff for myself all the time. But I can't knit, so it's all for you guys instead. Guys, girls. I'm going to add lots of silk, lots of it, because it looks so pretty when it's spun up, when it pops out. You only need a little bit and it just pops. All right, I'm down to my last bit. I'm going to add some Angora Bunny. This one is grown from my supplier's bunnies. So soft. <sighs> so soft. She loves her bunnies. They're very well cared for. Um, so I'm going to add this in. Very short hair. Well, not short hair, but it's super soft. And it goes up your nose. Oh, 
nè I might no in the moment I'm thinking I might just keep it as is and spin it up or we'll keep to the plan and do something pretty prettier green and pink on the top look at that I got stuff up my nose leftovers seems to get they're very knotty and I don't really want a knotty art yarn art, art bat sorry I want a luxury bat so I'm gonna keep with the super luxury stuff like the cashmere bamboo silk uh, not silk, uh, rose fiber. And then I'm going to add a little bit of viscose, some silk on top. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Only got a little bit of that, so I'm going to use it all up. That one had a mind of its own. I don't get to make much on my carter all that often. Um, but I want to start. I want to start making more. very picky on what I do with my fiber and what it's used in and how it's used and how much is used etc so that's really pretty it's not really showing up as good on the camera but it is a um a violet purple hot pink and a um a salmon color now i'm gonna add some viscose viscose feels yucky but it is very shiny and it does set really nice Once you've washed it and it's all made up it is quite pretty and they want a little bit of it because it is quite shiny
and I don't think you really need a lot. some white mulberry silk on the top Now to finish it, I'm going to add some sparkle. I don't put too much. I don't think it needs it. And that's it. This one is complete. I'm very pretty with it. I'm very pretty with it. It is very, very pretty. I'm very happy with it. It's very thick. I stab myself on the, on the needles. Okay, um, I apologize if I bump the camera because the leg is quite close to the cover. that pretty all of that pretty trying not to break it now so 
so I can show you and then take a picture of it before I break it. Why break it? Because I like to spin it up as many bats. And there it is. It's actually a lot brighter than this. But this is so pretty. And then you got the sparkle and the brown throughout. And I'm going to do another video of this, spinning it up. So stay tuned for that one. It's going to be fun. I might add some white blocks to it. Bye for now.